Hi, just to kick things off, um, could you please describe to a potential audience uh, Drift Partners in Crime? Well, Drift is a very uh, um, action-driven series, so hence the title, I guess. And uh, it has a, a twist to it because there's a brother story. And it's like a kind of a ping pong rhythm between uh, um, buddy comedy and uh, brother drama. Yeah, absolutely. It's quite action driven, but also um, also character driven. Um, and I was wondering, what was it about uh, your character, Ali Zeller, that uh, intrigued you? Well, in general, I love the genre. But in Germany, it usually was action driven. So characters did what they had to do, that the action happened. Uh, and uh, this series and the idea behind it was like, um, what about the action, like a character driven action series that we haven't had yet in Germany, where the characters are how they are. And actually, because of that, the shit go, uh, hits the fan, you know? Sorry if I'm allowed to say that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not an American outlet, so everything's good on this end. <laughs> yeah, we're uh, German, so uh, uh, Germans swear a lot lately. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so about your character, because um, he's quite a, um, a rebel, you could you almost say, in, in his um What was it about him specifically um, that, that you wanted to be a part of? Or was it... Um, because I read somewhere that you were also involved in, in the in the characterization. Yeah, yeah, no, I was involved in the whole development, and um, because uh, I'm quite uh, picky with the stuff I do, and um, I usually try to find a challenge, right? So I was open for the challenge, but um, I was uh, uh, worried that uh, the the characters would be in 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 focus of the of the story. So um, when we when we found also my counterpart, like the the actor who plays my brother, um, Fabian Bush, he's just a brilliant soul and amazing uh, colleague. I know you usually hear that, but he literally became one of my best friends within a year. And um, so this whole um, like family oriented filmmaking, like um, I I fought for the uh, director of the second uh, block. And Chow, he's one of my best friends, and he uh, was my DOP on my first time directing. So a lot of people were involved. So uh, it was uh, um, kind of a very um, family kind of style, how we developed the whole thing. So everyone was pulling on the same rope. Uh, there's a saying in Germany, it's like this kind of English, sorry. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, it was um, it was a great time developing the whole thing. And uh, the character intrigued me because I I wanted to have like an action character who has like uh, kind of an emotional base but can't express that so much. So he uh, actually is trying to do the right thing but chooses the wrong way quite often. And uh, a picture what would describe him, uh, Ali Tella, is um, he's kind of a brown bear, you know, a big uh, like. Uh, um killer with a childish soul does that make mm -hmm. sense yeah <laughs> definitely um you just mentioned that you i think did you meet fabian just for this project or did you know him before uh we knew each other for more than 20 years but we never worked with each other ah, okay. it was the first time that we worked uh together and uh okay. it was uh right because at the beginning of the development I thought they were like looking a little bit more like a, a mini me, like a brother, like a really uh, younger brother that uh, behaves and looks like me. And I think difference is what makes uh, it so interesting and intriguing. So let's find the character, uh, first of all, that is completely different than his brother. And then um, find an actor who's uh, able to play. It. And Fabian has this kind of amazing uh, mixture of uh, humor but not in a slapstick kind of style, but of like a natural happening, like a situation comedy and timing. And on the other side, um, it's never too much, whatever he does, you know, you actually believe him. Definitely. Um, I imagine it helps knowing him, but not having worked with him to create this uh, complex dynamic of, you know, having been close as children, but then drifting apart and then coming back together again. 
Well, yeah, especially because the, the story is like they're two brothers and they loved each other. They grew up together. Ali was always taking care of his brother. And then a tragic accident happens and their father dies. And um, that somehow splits them, you know, and, and splits their way. And uh, then another uh, tragical accident happens and it forces them back together. And then they have to um, face their past, literally. Yeah. It's a very nice symbiosis. Um, you also mentioned that you're a filmmaker yourself. Um, were you involved in anything behind the camera as well on this project? In the second unit, sometimes I was like uh, um, on a short notice taking over for the second unit directing. But, um, you know, it's, I consider myself as a filmmaker and usually I, as an actor, I, I just work as an actor and I, I'm happy to fulfill like uh, my vision and the vision of the director and to combine mm -hmm. them but uh on this uh kind of project it was more as i as i told you kind of a family um mm -hmm. filmmaking and uh, family oriented so especially with chow we know each other we trust each other we have the same way of expressing ourselves in pictures and creating like uh film um uh I, I'm sometimes I'm looking for a word and uh, I'm trying to translate. You can say it in German. No, no, you no, you can no, say no, it in no, no worries. It's, it's a, a, a okay. Film elements, right? And the way we use them to express the um, the attention of the of the situation. Mm -hmm. okay. And um, I think the story, uh, or the, sorry, the show is um, split in two parts. Am I, am I remembering this correctly so the first uh, um, series is going to be split in two parts so um it's quite of a new way of releasing series so people don't have to wait that long for the second season so they split the first season in two parts and so the uh, one first season is right now and this in the second part of the first season will be released in autumn ah, okay but it's still one season and not it's one season right okay okay so they're they're together or are the first five episodes do they already kind of um have a sort of the, um, the first simulation? five episodes um basically are um i would say like a mini series and uh um introducing the characters introducing the story and it has a like a kind of a plot that is um um ended but on the other hand there is uh, um, new stuff coming up. There will be a, a cliff, quite an intense cliff at the end of five, but it's still like uh, the story is somehow told, but it takes uh, on the cliff for the next part. Okay, very excited to see more then. Um, How many episodes have you seen yet? I've just seen the first two um, at this first point, two. but yeah. Um, there's a lot of action elements. Did you have to undergo some training to get ready for this part? Well, I did a lot of uh, fighting uh, in like street fights, kitchen fights, uh, cage fights. My character is like, uh, he's fighting his demons, I guess, in half kind of legal fights in a cage. Mm -hmm. And um, I did a lot of like stunt rehearsal for that, but um, more for like creating the choreographies and uh, the style because I've uh, I've been fighting now for 10 years intensely um, privately for MMA and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu um, so I just recently got my brown belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu so I know a little bit how to fight but um, there were a lot of different stunts like uh, climbing out on the balcony eighth floor chasing a guy climbing the balconies on on the rooftop uh, jumping from the 16th into the 15th into the 14th floor a lot of chasing so i was quite surprised i'm still standing with my age <laughs> but uh no it was uh it was uh intense um shooting and uh yeah there was a lot of training besides the besides the thing and i gained some mass as i told you i wanted to create this kind of brown bear character and not this like lean uh, uh hero kind of uh um i want an edgy character so i i really tried to get as much mass as possible so trying to keep that during the shooting was quite uh challenging but um yeah so i trained 10 years to be able to do it in a short time probably. okay it looks really great um and you also shot in different uh, locations in bavaria and austria and um greece 
yeah, we shot literally everywhere around Europe. So we were in Greece, uh, Austria, Switzerland, uh, some places in Germany. And uh, it's kind of a very road trippy kind of flair. Um, but yeah, based in Munich. Mm -hmm. But I can imagine that's quite strenuous as well to travel within the shoot. Or how do you um, experience that? This was a part that I used to because I, I um, shoot films all around the world in, in six languages. So I'm quite used to like work with foreign teams, work around the world. But um, being for eight months stuck in one project was quite of a new experience for me. Mm -hmm. um, would you say there's a difference? Because you just mentioned you, you shoot quite internationally already. Um, what, what would you say is the main difference between international productions and German productions? Budget, basically. You know, there are quite, not that many, but quite a few actors who do a lot of stunts themselves. And, uh, but, you know, compared to like the big international action series, we definitely can't have the budget. We can't, uh, um, um, how do you uh, compete against them, you know, mm -hmm. budget-wise? But on the other hand, we can compensate with manpower and uh, and schedule. So uh, some days I wasn't doing two stunts, I was doing 35 stunts. Mm -hmm. And then it gets quite exhausting, you know, especially the amount of uh, uh, physical involvement in that series was... Uh, we have like uh, severe muscle ache uh, or late muscle soreness, you know, and then you still know, God, I'm going to have like 400 sprints today chasing someone between cars and uh, uh, apple boxes or whatever. You know, it was quite uh, tricky. And um, your filmography is quite a good mix between films and series. Is um... Do you and is that is a deliberate choice? Do you enjoy working on both films and shows, or do you think consider one? Do you have a preference for one or the other? I don't have a preference. I have a preference for telling stories, right? And uh, at the beginning of my career, probably first like 13, 14, 15 years, uh, I wasn't doing a series at all. You know, maybe a mini series or like uh, some some films that. Um, told the same story kind of in different aspect, but um, the, the series, especially in Germany, were always like telling the same story all over again. And then somehow it developed, it changed. And now with this horizontal kind of um, way of telling a series, it gives you a chance to develop the character from A to B um, to a point where no one would have expected that character to be at the end of the series or at the end of the season. And uh, even with all the series that I lo love to watch, sometimes you hate a character and next season he becomes your best friend. You know, and there's this kind of possibility taking time and creating a character that really makes it intriguing for me these days to play a series. So hence uh, my resume changed a little bit into shooting a little bit more series, but I love both. You know, I even love theater, but... Um, haven't had the time lately. Yeah. And um, just to wrap it up, what, because you just said uh, the series that you would like to watch, what are some kind of shows that you like to watch when you have time well, off? I think I'm one of the, like, like really less people who haven't seen Game of Thrones yet. So we are like binging okay. through and round about fifth season now. And uh, I never watched it. And then when we started, we couldn't stop. Uh, I, I um, finally finished the, uh, because I, I l forgot to watch the last season of Peaky Blinders. I think it's one of my all-time favorites. I love The Boys lately. Um, Chernobyl uh, was a quite nice. Uh, um, there are like, so many um, unorthodox. There are quite a, a lot of series that I'm watching right now. With my son, he's 13. Uh, I have to finish Andor. You know, in this kind of Star Wars universe, he's waiting for the Mandalorian. So it's quite a mix of everything. Yeah. Great. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was a pleasure. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Selena.